We've been doing the Great Jack Lantern Blaze in the Hudson Valley for 16 years, and it's grown hugely over that time period. Very popular, sells out every year. And we've been thinking about how could we find another way to get Blaze out and have other people be able to see it. We spent a couple years looking for the right site. And here tonight, for the first time, we have brought it to Old Bethpage Village Restoration on Long Island. More than 7,000 hand-carved jack-o'-lanterns lit up throughout the landscape. It's unbelievable. Come check it out. It's the perfect place if you're getting cabin fever uh, to practice social distancing and see this amazing artwork, 7,000 pumpkins carved. And if you want a really good Halloween experience, I highly recommend this. So we've been walking through the blaze and there's so many pumpkins to see, but I think my favorite display so far are the pumpkins as art. Look at that pumpkin Mona Lisa. That is crazy detailed. We are requiring all staff, all visitors to wear masks the entire time they're on site. We are asking parties to maintain social distance. We have markers to show, you know, let, let the people have space in front of you, let the people behind you have space. We have about a, only about a dozen people that do all of the carving. And actually three of them this year uh, came from Long Island. They're Long Island artists. It's awesome to work with them. Others are from the Hudson Valley, so it's a good mix. Looks like they took a lot of time and they're so crazy. I think everybody likes pumpkins. It's amazing uh, what they can do with the pumpkin. They went from dinosaurs to, uh, to bumblebees to sunflowers. It was really great. It, it really doesn't do it justice until you actually see it yourself. And to see the look on people's faces when they see what we've done with jack-o'-lanterns, because they really can't believe it. And again, you know, pictures don't do it justice. Pictures are great, but they don't quite do it justice. You really have to see it in person.